Geeky Time Gal and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be taking this pretty little base and we're going to be covering it with Mod Podge Sparkle and a little translucent. Look, well, they're not translucent. They're like little fall flowers or leaves in different shades. And then we're going to be putting fairy lights in. We're going to be putting fairy lights inside the jar. And when you light it up, You'll see the lights through the leaves. It'll be like little translucent leaves. It'll be really pretty. So, that's what we're going to do today. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you're going to need some Mod Podge Sparkle. If you don't want to use the sparkle, you can use Mod Podge Matte or Mod Podge Gloss. But I'm going to use the sparkle. Because it puts sparkle on it. You can get this Mod Podge Sparkle just about anywhere Mod Podge is sold. I got mine from... Walmart and um, it's uh, like eight bucks I think for an eight ounce jar. So what we're going to do first is we're going to start to cover the jar. You can use um, a mason jar, you can use a vase, you can use a glass, whatever you want for your container. But it needs to be glass so that you can see through it. You can start at the top, you can start at the middle, you can start at the bottom. I'm going to start to, um, I'm going to only put the uh, leaves on the rounded part and the bottom of the jar. This top part where it comes to like a little gooseneck. And this fluff, uh, fluided part, I'm not going to do with the leaves or the Mod Podge. So I'm going to start right about here and go down. So I'm going to hold it at the top. And I'm going to apply Mod Podge Sparkle. A nice, thick, generous coat. A nice, thick, generous coat. And then you want to apply your leaves right to it. And you want to put the right side of the leaf facing up. And then what you want to do is you want to go back over the leaf and put more Mod Podge on top of the leaf. Just pat it on. Get it all over. Make sure all the parts of the leaves are stuck down. They're not sticking up. Use a lot of Mod Podge. You want these all to stick down real good. Like so. And then you're just going to do that throughout the whole jar. Just sticking it down. Make it stick down. And then you can overlap your leaves if you want. You can face them different directions. You just do whatever. Just remember to use a lot of Mod Podge. You want these leaves to stick down good. Now the Mod Podge will dry clear. And that's fine. Work in sections. Don't do your whole jar with Mod Podge and then go back with the, uh, the leaves. Do sections.
because otherwise your Mod Podge is going to dry in between. Then just set it aside to completely dry. Now you may have to go back over with a second coat of Mod Podge, and that's fine. You can do that. I'm actually going to go around the rim a little bit more and put some more because I'm going to put ribbon here. But I want the sparkle to come up a little bit further. So the ribbon will hide the rest. And I want the sparkle to come up a little further. There we go. I'm going to put this, this grateful ribbon around the rim with a bow. I think I'm going to put some around the edge here. Some sparkle Mod Podge around the rim. Just around the rim. And we're going to wait for this dry. You probably want to let it dry at least four or five hours. And we'll be back a little later to maybe put a second coat on to make sure everything's looking good. And you can come back in an hour or so and push things down. Make sure they're getting all pushed down and everything so your leaves aren't fucking up. And you can do that. And there you go. We'll be back. Okay, here's our glass jar. It's all dry. We got the rim around the edge, and we have the jar is all painted with the Mod Podge Sparkle. I think it looks really fantastic. The leaves are all on. I have this grateful ribbon. It's a two-inch ribbon. It's wired. And we're going to take it, and we're going to... Oh, that's going to be too wide. Okay, what if we cut it down? Let's try to cut it down. See how much we're going to need. That'll do. What if we cut the band off of it and just go with the ribbon itself?
Look at how that'll look. Yeah, that'll work. Now let's let's cut it down a little bit more. Let's just try to get the great board. Let's just try to get the word grateful. Yeah, that's better. Okay, I need to plug in my hot glue gun. So I'll be right back. Okay. Put this on here. Now, instead of ruining all that ribbon to make the, the bow, I'm just going to go with orange and green um, ribbon. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to pull me out a big bunch of this. Whoops, it's on the floor now. That's okay. And I'm going to off-center it a little bit by like a quarter of an inch, and I'm going to just run it down and tack it on top of each other. And I'll center it like a quarter of an inch. Oh, I'll make it a hot mess. That should be good for now.
Okay. We're going to take it and leave a tail. And we're going to fold it upon itself. Cut off a little bit. We're going to take this piece, wrap it around. Pack it down. Fluff it. Pull the tails down. Fluff the bow a little bit. I am not an avid bow maker. I cannot make bows to save my life. So please excuse the poor bow making ability here. And I think we're just going to cut these off at a slant. Not going to dovetail at this time. There's our little bow. Get our thing back here. Find out what we want the front to be. Pack our little bow on. this. Now I have these fairy lights here that are on a um, like a mesh tubing. So I'm going to kind of bunch them up, tie them up a little bit so that they are all in a like bunch. We're going to push them down in here, turn on the light, and voila, you have your jar. Isn't that beautiful? I think that's very pretty. It's luminescent. It illuminates. Very pretty. You can put any kind of fairy lights you want in there. I just happen to have those ones on that little uh, like tubing. And you can put anything in there for light. I wouldn't suggest putting an actual candle in here because of the leaves and the Mod Podge. And, of course, the, the bow. I wouldn't suggest putting a real candle in there. You can put, like, a flameless candle or some fairy lights. Whatever you want to light it up. But there you go. That was the tutorial today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Stopping by. Spending some time with me. I enjoy spending time with you guys. I love crafting with you. So everybody have a great day. Take care of yourselves. And we'll catch you on the flip side. And hey, while you're already here, why not subscribe to the channel? Leave a comment down below and let me know how the channel's doing. Leave ideas for new crafty projects we can complete on the channel together. And I'm always open to constructive criticism. I'm always looking for ways to improve the channel, make it more fun, interesting, and entertaining for everybody. 
Click the like button below. That really helps my channel to grow and reach more audiences here on YouTube. Share the video on social media such as Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And click the notification bell below and select all so you know when I put out a video or go live. I want to thank each and every one of you for your overwhelming support. It means so much to me. Um, I love doing videos for you guys and spending time with everybody. I consider you my extended family. And with all that being said, thank you so very much. You have a great day. Take care of yourselves. We'll catch you on the flip side.